Well, Could you say to our next guest, look at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. no, it's but because we're friends. It's just, just all sorts of fabulous. Our next no. guest is a you, You've woman. never said to me, look at you. <laughs> I do know, but I say it in this tone, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Our next guest uh, is a morning show fave and a literary force to be reckoned with. But for Cathy Lett, having 19 novels to her name just was not enough. Australia's outspoken author and comedian is back and breaking down barriers with her latest release. It's, it release, it's called The Revenge Club, using her wicked words of wit to address sexism, tackle the topic of menopause and prove that life only gets better with age. Look at you. Look at her. <laughs> Cathy Lett is here. Hello, Cathy. Oh, that's just such a lovely intro. Thank you. You're beautiful. Oh. 20 books. To, like, well, I only write because it's cheaper than therapy, as you know. <laughs> yeah. You so, must just love it. Well, it, it's whatever is driving me crazy, you know, boiling up sort of rage mm. inside me. And I was getting really angry at the way women my age were being sidelined and made to feel invisible. You know, like you, you never hear a man described as mutton dressed as ram, do you? <laughs> and yet I'm told what I can wear, what I can't wear, no short skirts, no this, no that. And I just thought, you know what, it's just insane because I reckon after the menopause is the best time of a woman's life. And why do, you, why do you think that? Well, first of all, no period cramps, right. no pregnancy <laughs> scares. You've got all that tampon money to spend. <laughs> right? But it's not just that. I think... <laughs> Sorry, now, now this, <laughs> this is where you say, look at you, Larry. Look at you. <laughs> Larry, Larry will be lactating at the end of this conversation, I'm sure. Handbags, not sanitary items. It's fabulous. Well, that's right. And also, I think, you know, as women, we're brought up to be decorative and demure and sort of nice. But after the menopause, when your oestrogen goes down and your testosterone comes up a little bit, you get a little bit more selfish, a little bit more bolshy, a little bit, bit more like a bloke, actually. Yeah. So, <laughs> and you can take the world on. I think women come into their true selves So you've got all this bubbling away inside you and go, I'm going to write a book called The Revenge Club. Yes. Then when you get into that process, do you find it cathartic? Are you easing up on this oh. anger and this bubbling? Well, a lot thing? of writers say, you know, why do you write? Oh, I write for the creative release and all this. No, I write for revenge. Because yeah. I can impale an enemy on the end of my <laughs> pen like a shish kebab. You know, and I did want to have blow a big literary raspberry at, at the... Um, the misogynists in the world who do write women my age often say we've passed our amuse by date and try to make us invisible. So mm. I'm saying to women post menopause, have a sensational second act. Mm. Go forth and be fabulous. I mean, if not now, when? Absolutely. So, and that's the message of this book. It's a revenge romp with, with a lot of. Um, so it's a it's fiction. It's a fiction. It's a fictional book. It's, it's a fictional it's book. Like a, but a... everything in this book is based on real life. So every bit of sexist misogyny either happened to me or one of my friends or. I've taken it from the newspapers because it still is a man's world. You know, a hundred years since Emily Pankhurst tied herself to the railings and we're still getting concussion hitting our head on the glass ceiling and we're supposed to give it a quick clean while we're up there. So, you know, I think we've still got a lot to whinge about. But not that we whinge. When we go on a girls' night out, we have to be hospitalised from hilarity, don't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to be a special guest in an event. Uh, it's called the Life Cycle Summit event. What's that all about? In Perth, yes. Well, we're talking about the menopause. Because, I, I mean, I... If you remember your mother's generation, they never spoke about the menopause. You know, they'd be in a kind of cardigan coven in the kitchen talking, cardigan coven. talking about <laughs> the change, you know, as though Voldemort was coming. Mm. So at least we are now really talking about this. And so I try and bring some humour to it as well because, I mean, I do think God is a bloke. You think mm. of all the things women go through when you first get taken hostage by your hormones as a teenager with your periods once mm. a month. Then there's pregnancy where everything swells to sumo wrestler proportions. Then there's childbirth where, the, where you stretch your birth canal, the customary, what, five kilometres? Yes. <laughs> then there's Easy. mastitis, then there's the menopause, and then just when everything, everything goes quiet, you grow a beard. I mean, how can that be fair? I could make, like, a macrame hanging basket arrangement with what's going on here. Why? But my only motto is <laughs> laugh and the world laughs with you, cry and you get salt in your champers, which we don't yes. want. <laughs> so we do laugh a that lot, don't we? That is a fabulous we? outlook. I'm, I'm going to get that, like, a T-shirt with that written on. Uh, you, with about 85,000 of your closest friends, you went out to Taylor Swift on the weekend. How was that? Well, it was fascinating because it was all women. It must have been, you know, I think sort of 79 and a half thousand women and a couple of fellas. Yes, so it was a, a sea of sequined oestrogen and, <laughs> and it felt fabulous. And, you know, she is, she is very empowering to young women and she's got a, you know, positive outlook on life. So, and my other motto in life, as you know, is that women are each other's human wonder bras. Yes. 
uplifting, yeah. supportive, and making each other look bigger and better. I mean, I'm wearing a wonder bra now, and it's called that because when you take it off, you wonder where the hell your breasts <laughs> went. But, and I, I always think, never wonder where your female friends have gone. Really nurture those friendships. Mm. Let your... That your cups runneth over with love for your Which girlfriends. So and she does and that for her fans. She does that in absolute spades. Before we let you go, yes. we know that you're close friends with King Charles. Yes. How's he going? Have you... Well, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's um, it's all very hush-hush. But mm. I have sent him a little Australian care package. I've sent him some violet crumble bars. Lovely. And some Vegemite, Australian penicillin. Mm. And, a, and a pair of budgies that hopefully he can look forward to wearing in the summer. <laughs> Budgie smugglers. You sent King Charles a pair of... <laughs> <laughs> Brief swimming costume. I don't know if he'll wear them, but he'll give him a laugh anyway. Absolutely. Which I think, and laughter is the best medicine, which is why this will just be also be Australian penicillin. You know, and I sent you him say, a copy yeah. of that as well. Did you say one of your mottos is, if not now, when? If not now, when? Yeah. I have I that mean, tattooed on my chest. Do you? It means something different from, from, for us, obviously. <laughs> need to see it. Uh, <laughs> I do. I think it's time we had a little bit of pecs appeal. Well, what do you think? If not now, how, when? How fabulous. Yeah. But it's go. probably, uh, it, it, it's different. <laughs> it's probably different because I've been no, through all those, things, all those stories. No, but men well, also, you go through stuff. Yeah, yeah. and men, mm. they say that mm. men have a kind of a menopause. I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of guys who suddenly start driving a menopause, <laughs> which I presume <laughs> is their version of a menopause. Yeah, pro but... that's why I've got the tattoo. Oh. Um, hey, so good to see you. Always such oh, fun. It's so lovely to Come be Come and see us again soon. Oh, yeah. I love being home. It's just so and say a hi wonderful to country. I will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 92 oh. and going strong. Great. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. You can get your hands on a copy of Kathy's new book. It's called The Revenge Club. That's what it looks like. Uh, very funny, and it's out now. Go and buy it now. If not now, when? <laughs> <laughs>